All right, so I'm sitting here with the CEO and founder of Meta, Marone Gribitz, uh, going to show us version 2.0 of Meta's augmented reality tool. What's going on on your face here? So on my face, I have a wearable computer that has a screen 16 times larger than Google Glass. Um, and it's a gestural screen, it's a, it's a gestural computer so I could reach out and touch holograms uh, mid-space. Um, additionally, I could stick those holograms to parts of the real world. So what you have here is Iron Man. Exactly, Iron Man in the flesh. And you're going to show me an example, right, of, of how, wh what you can do with this. Yes, exactly. So what you have behind me, uh, wherever you see black, I can see through that. Um, and. Uh, we're going to take a look at the world's first augmented reality 3D sculpting tool um, that's actually connected to a 3D printer. Uh, so we're going to sculpt a vase midair and hologram, um, and we're going to put it in a 3D printer. Okay, so this is essentially like a different version of AutoCAD or something like this? Right, a much, much, much simplified version of AutoCAD, a very natural uh, form where you can sculpt an object with the things that have evolved to manipulate your environment. All right, let's see, do it. Okay, so we're going to press a virtual holographic button that's floating in front of me in space. Um, and what you see behind is left and right eye, so I have full depth perception here. It's a 3D computer. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is stick my index fingers up there, and I'm going to touch those dots which will enable me to start sculpting at really, really high dexterity and low latency uh, this uh, awfully inartistic vase. And um, uh, I'll get a notification that the object has been completed and I could dump it into the 3D printer. So I'll hit the Guide It button again. Um, and now this part is the most fun part and I'm gonna let you do it. Okay. Alrady? I Let's like do it. You ready? Pumped? Part. I'm super pumped. Okay, cool. So. And that was it? That was all you really had to do? Yeah, so just, all right, now uh, you could see the hologram in, in front of you, uh -huh. right? Now just go out and reach it, reach in and grab it uh, with your fist. My fist? Just make a fist around it. One hand is enough. Oh, just one hand. Oh. And move, you could kind of move it around, move it around the room. Whoa. And there you have a hologram sort of uh, sticking, sticking out there. Now, if you open your hand really, really wide right now and move it away from the vase, what I'll do is I'll come in there and I'll move it around and you can see the world's first collaborative computer. Bam. That's really cool. Another thing you could do is kind of look towards me and you see how you don't see it, the, the, va the vase anymore. And you could look back and it remembers its location in space because it's sticking it onto parts of the real world. Yeah, it's kind of, it gets kind of addictive. <laughs> and so but if you look towards Val over there and oh, put oh, it that in box. that flashy box. Yes. Uh, it's going to send it to the 3D printer. So if you look up there, if you look up a bit, it says converting to G-code, which is a protocol that interacts with the 3D printer, and then it's sending to the printer and calculating your time even in holographic interface. That was way quicker than it would be for me to design something in CAD software. That's what we're about, solving pains and making magic. Very cool. And this is, how much is this going to cost when it comes out? So this uh, is going to cost $3,000. It's 16 times the size of Google Glass in terms of viewable area, but only double the, the cost. Um, and it's mostly for professionals and people who really need the best of the best. Uh, we also have a developer kit, which is $667, about four times the size of the screen of glass. And again, one screen for each eye, so you get your 3D. Okay, and give me an idea of who would buy this. Are you guys in competition with Google Glass, or, or what's the landscape you're like? So we're not uh, really in competition with Google Glass. Google Glass is a type of computer that I call the notification machine. Low CPU, low GPU, pop-up notifications to the corner of your eye, very small screen. It's basically telling you where you're going next, how to get there, and when the next train there is. Like, it's pop-ups. Right. Um, and we're building what, what I call the natural machine. The natural machine, again, is a, is a three-dimensional computer, so you can see the objects in 3D. So you need a projector for each eye, not only for one. Um, and it, it's a gestural-based computer, so you could reach out and touch the graphics naturally. Um, and if that's not enough, you could go ahead and stick them on parts of the real world. So it uses the real world as part of the app. Very exciting. Where can people pre-order this or buy this? On spaceglasses.com. Right. Check us out. All right. Marone Gribitz from Meta. Thanks for showing us. Thanks so much for coming by today.